uh, we basically set up the conditions for raising the density of our city, almost like what you'd see in a, like a medieval town, right, where you have a wall around the outside and then all development happens on the inside. And that was consciously done so that um, I think it, it was understood um, with sort of new thinking about urbanism that that density promotes all kinds of things. Um, uh, from a sustainability aspect uh, for a city. It means there are uh, uh, fewer cars, you, you can walk places instead of having to drive. Um, and it's sort of the anti-sprawl idea. What are you doing with micro units and how are you making them more livable and more attractive uh, to the consumer? So um, the idea of uh, smaller is better. Uh, the, uh, the whole concept around it is that it's linked to elevating the quality of your city. They go hand in hand. Instead of thinking of your apartment as the place where you're going to live your entire life and you have to do everything there, you start to consider the park as your backyard. You start to consider the theater as your living room. Um, and you start to consider the restaurants and that sort of thing as your dining room. And what it does is it, it just, as um, it, it uh, as people start to see the city as the place they're living instead of just inside their own little box, it increases the vitality of the communities and it, it uh, increases just the overall feeling of, um, yeah, it's vitality. We've been developing um, low-rise units, uh, four stories tall, with retail on the ground floor, um, that have actually looked at the whole idea of taking that sort of shoebox that's really deep and actually rotating it 90 degrees relative to the plan so that every room along the length of it from the bathroom to the bedroom um, to the kitchen all have access to that sort of street view. Make the overall idea of living in a small space more humane uh, and elevate the quality of the space. So it's do less but have it be really high quality. Um, How do you define high quality? Sure. One of the biggest things we think is like the, just the connection to light and air. Uh, so what we've done, um, we've been working with a developer recently uh, who's their own funding source, okay? So they're able to actually think, they still have to hit all the same, you know, they have to make the rent work for what they're building, but they're able to consider a building holistically and find trade-offs um, in ways that can actually get them more light and air for the inhabitants. And are you finding that lease-up happens much faster when you do provide more light and air? Absolutely. And, and more importantly, there's a real boom right now um, in Portland. Like every city, we went through the kind of condo days uh, when everybody seemed to be building that. And then one day it stopped. <laughs> we even had some projects transition from being condominiums to apartments after that happened. Um, but with the uh, focus, the focus now, and we're certainly seeing it in Portland, is really on developing apartments and lots of them. So, uh, and people are starting to realize it's not enough just to build these things. They're going to have to differentiate themselves in order to get, um, you know, renters. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for being here with us today. And we look forward to hearing more about your work in Portland.